Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. In today's video, we're looking at another small ship, and this one is called the Atlas IC330 Orbital Shuttle, which is this lovely thing right here. So it's a small single person ship that features a little bit of firepower on there to defend yourself and all the types of thrusters you need to leave a planet and go on your merry way in space. Pressing F10 and finding it in the spawn menu, there it is. This thing is 2092 small blocks requiring the Sparks of the Future DLC pack and the Decorative Block Number 2 DLC packs. It features no other mods, but it does have a few scripts here and there, such as the PAM Autopilot script, the SAM Autopilot script, and Blarg's Ascent Cruise Control script. But I'll talk about them a bit later. So what we're going to do now is have a quick look around the outside, then we'll fly it around for a bit and see how it handles the poor little albatross sitting over there. So yes, at the very front here, this is what we get. We've got ourselves our fighter cockpit, which is where I am sitting, and that's been surrounded by some dark grey armoured blocks. Just below here at the very front, we've got a cargo container, which acts as a small access point when we're landed to load stuff into the ship, such as ammunition. Just below our cargo container, we've got ourselves a camera to help aim forwards, and right below that, we've got a spotlight to light up the darkness. On the left and the right of that, two large atmospheric thrusters just to help out while we're on a planet. And as we move around the side there, we can see some LCD screens just sitting next to our cockpit, but I'll come back to that a bit later. In fact, we'll go around the other side, so it appears the sunlight is on this side. So yes, on the side here we can see how the large atmospheric thruster has been covered up at the front there with some orange and dark grey blocks. This comes across to a Gatling turret to help deter the odd pesky drone and to protect you while you're going on on your little journey. Just behind them we've got some small ion thrusters using our fancy Sparks of the Future DLC skin. And that comes across onto some more large ion thrusters using the same skin. As we come all the way around over to here, we see some more atmospheric thrusters just to help out on the planet, and some more ion thrusters. If I zoom out of here and come across on our first little thruster pod type thing, we can see some batteries sticking out on the top there. We've got some blinking lights with a green one on the opposite side, an LCD screen showing us the logo of who designed this ship. And as we move all the way around to here, we see even more thrusters, and then towards the back, this is what's going to push us along. So we've got ourselves two large ion thrusters, three small ion thrusters, two large atmospheric thrusters, and two small atmospheric thrusters, which is going to give us some nice speed. Just below them, we've got ourselves a merge block just to connect this up in case we need to. The merge block itself is not connected on very safely. It feels very loosely attached, but it's there if you need it, and it does hide up the ion thrusters underneath. So we've got a load of ion thrusters and a few more atmospherics. We've got our landing gear there just to snap ourselves down. We can see the bottom of a battery sitting right in there. A connector to connect up to and restock this thing with some oxygen or maybe even some ammunition and a camera to help aim it. Some small hydrogen tanks right there just to keep this thing nice and stocked up. And next to that a small interior light. We can see a reactor right there just for some emergency power in case we need it and we can see the bottoms of our Gatling guns where we have a little connection point. Towards the front, another landing gear, an ore detector, and the bottom of our spotlight. Then if we come all the way around and up top, we'll come past our cockpit, and up here we can see a projector block just to help repair this thing up if it ever took damage, a remote control block, a air vent to suck in some oxygen to refill your tanks, a camera to be able to view if anyone's trying to sneak up on you, and the antenna block just to make sure you can never lose this. We can see some more batteries in there, more atmospheric thrusters, and then towards the back, there is our large atmospheric thrusters right there in their fancy new skin. That is a very brief around the outside. It does look fantastic, and we can see the green blinking light on the opposite side right there with another logo. Yes, it does look fantastic with how it's been set up. The orange and the dark gray goes very well together, and the glow of the new ion thruster skin works very well in dark skyboxes. Yes, getting into my character and going to first person view, this is what we get and this is what the LCD screens are for. On our left we've got our PAM, on our right we've got our SAM. Our PAM is to set up a automatic mining sequence, so we can tell it to go to this location, start mining, 
and then reverse out and return back to base. I think I've showcased this before on a few other designs. And on our right is simply a navigation thing to tell you to go back to a base and dock up and whatnot. But unfortunately, the PAM controls don't seem to be working too well. In fact, I get no response out of this, even if I reload and paste in a new one. So I'm not too sure what's going on there, but there will be a link to the script page itself if you do want to check out how to set it up and how it works. Anyway, this is what we get in our first person view. We can look all the way around here. And it is quite nice seeing those two transparent LCD screen blocks on the side. But as for the controls themselves, number one is going to be to turn off all our thrusters all the way around the ship. Ion and atmospheric together. So if we do this, once we're done and docked up. Number one is going to be to switch them all back on and we can go on our merry way. Three and four is our cruise control. So we can press four to switch off the thrusters at the front. So we also start moving forwards and then let go. We're just going to cruise along at a steady pace. Pressing three will turn them back on and we'll come back to a stop. Number five is for the lights around the ship. So we see we've got ourselves our blinking red light on this side. Pressing number five will then turn it off. Pressing five again will turn it back on and it will continue to blink. Number six is for our connector at the bottom there and seven and eight is for our landing gear. Tab number two, we've got controls for our batteries to discharge or auto or to recharge and auto. Three and four are for our cameras to face forwards and to view straight up. Five and six is for manual controls over our Gatling turrets if we want to fire them like so. And seven is to turn them on and off. Eight and nine is for our ore detector on and off and our antenna on and off. And tab number three is going to be for our PAM. So what would happen with these beans they're not currently working is that one and two would be to essentially move this up and down on our left hand side. You see there's a little arrow right there next to the record path and set home. We'd be able to move that up and down thanks to the script and three would be to select it to go further into the menu. We then got five and six which will probably be for the back and the confirm and then seven for the hydrogen engine on and off if we need that additional power. Number nine is for our O2H2 generator in case we need some additional hydrogen to be produced while we're out and about. And on tab number four, we've got a bunch of controls for the SAM, but once again, that doesn't work for some odd reason. But it would be basically similar to what the PAM does, where we can move the control up and down, select stuff, and all that. Number five is for our reactor on and off if we need the additional power. And then on tab number five, we are empty, so it's time to drive this thing around. Going forwards for a thruster test in space, this is what we get. We've got a nice bit of speed to move around. Means we're not a combat ship, we are a transport vessel. Gonna just cruise along and it's not too bad. Stopping as well is not too bad. It will take some time to stop, so it might be a good idea to do a 180 and boost forwards to help slow you down a bit faster. Going left and going right, we've got a nice little bit of speed there. And then going down and going up. Going up, we've got a nice lot of speed, which is always nice to be able to pull away from the station with speed. And going down is not too bad itself. As for a planet, if I was to find a free camera and find a planet so we can test the atmospheric thrusters, here's a planet. Let's just go and zoom all the way over to here, like so. And then we're just going to paste in the ship and we'll give it a little test. So coming all the way around over to here, oh god, the game has frozen. There we go, we've now recovered. And we'll give it a atmospheric test as well. So going forwards on a planet, this is the speed we get. We got a lot of speed compared to what we had in space. And stopping as well is even better. Going left and going right feels about the same as the ion thrusters in space. Going down and then going up. Going up and down feels a lot slower than the ion thrusters. Wiggling my mouse around, this is what we get. We've got a nice amount of weight on here. It's not floaty, perhaps could be a little bit too heavy with the gyroscopes. It might be worth adding in one more just to make it a bit more responsive and turning it down just a little bit because it doesn't really need that much else. It just drags a little bit while turning it around. Yes, that is pretty much it for the Atlas IC. 330 Orbital Shuttle is a very nice little ship if you wish to play around with a small transport ship to go from a space station to a planetary station and back if you want to do some trading or something like that. But anyway, there'll be a link to it in the description below if you do wish to download and play around for yourself. I'll be back with another video some point soon. Bye bye.